Isudo style pop is used to style other special states of a component. For example, the hover state, active state, focus state, and more. To apply a pseudo pop, you need to use the underscore before the name of that pop, just like this. It's usually an object with the key as the name of the property and then the value as the CSS style. Here, I'll be showing you how to add the hover and focus styles to a button. So let's quickly add a button to our previous example. We'll see there's no space between the text and the button. So we go ahead to give the button a margin top of 32 pixels. Chakra UI has inbuilt color schemes for button. So I can specify a color scheme like red, green, blue. And this is how to do that. You notice that the button automatically switches to a red button. We can also go ahead to give it the blue button. By default, these color schemes come with their own hover states. So I'll switch this color scheme back to red and then show you how to apply the hover and focus styles to the button. Let's add in a hover style with a background color of blue. Remember, it's an object. And this is what we have here. Let's also add in a focus state by changing the background color and focus to yellow. Now we notice the white text is too faint. So let's give the focus state a text color of black. There are so many pseudo style pops that Chakra UI supports. Check out the documentation for a detailed list. Now you understand how to use Chakra UI and some basic concepts. So let's get our hands dirty by building a UI in the next video.